Okay, so the sound hasn't been rectified. I'm now using the microphone that comes on with the camera. Um, so it w the sound won't be great, and I'm really sorry about that. I think it's got to do with Catkin, because he was messing around there where all the cables and stuff are the other day. <laughs> so I think that he has... It, I think I'm blaming him. I'm blaming him. Anyway, hopefully Mr. F will get it sorted and we'll see how we go. What I was saying was that this is a brand new collaboration and it should hopefully last, last almost six months. months, maybe more if we like it. Um, and last, last week, um, we rolled the dice and I got to choose the first prompt and we'll take it in week about from now on. Uh, and the prompt that I chose was stencils, stenciling. So what have I done so far? Well, I've made my little journal. I've used six sheets of paper and I've made them into two signatures. Because I think, think by the time we finish with bulk, bulk etc., et it's going to be more manageable in two signatures. Oh, I think we're back on. I think we've got proper sound back on. Are oh, you getting echoes and all sorts of things? Oh dear. Is it working now? Is it? It should be working now, I think. Properly. Is, is the sound on the camera switched off now? Yes. Yeah. Back again. Oh, great. Thanks, Kerry. Thanks, Erin. Thanks, Judy, Kim, Stephanie, Terry, Baby Girl Crafter, Jan, Marion, Michelle, Tommy, Joan. Thanks very much. That's great. Right. So now we can uh, think about what we're going to do. Well, I, I just said stencils last week. I just said the word. It just came out. And I had, to be honest, I hadn't actually thought it through. But when I did start to think it through, there's so many things you can do with stencils. You know, I love to use them with modelling paste to get some sort of texture on the page. Oh, and you saw the other day, well, if you watched Thursday's live, you'd have seen that I used it with distress crayons. I wiped away some parts under a stencil, so there's that as well. But I decided I'd do something completely different that I haven't done with you for a long time. And that is, <laughs> that is a very dirty jelly plate. <laughs> um, I'm just using, I've, I've got a larger one that I use for A4, but this one's fine for what I want it for. And the stencils that I have that I'm going to use are six inch stencils anyway. So um, there's no point the jelly plate being any larger than that. They just fit on there perfectly. Oops, your uncle. Now, before we get all fancy and start using the stencils, it's got a thread on there which will print if I'm not careful. Um, we, we just need some backgrounds, really. And the paper that I choose to use is this stuff. It's deli paper. It's like kind of greaseproof paper. It's the sort that you get your chips in, that sort of thing. Um, but I love the sound of it. And it actually prints really well because it's so thin, you can push it right down uh, and get good prints. This one, by the looks of it, got caught up in the last lot of printing. I don't know, it's quite nice anyway, so I'll leave that. So I'm just going to make a background. And what you need is your uh, jelly, jelly plate and a brayer and some acrylic paints. Now the acrylic, you could use inks, you could use anything. Uh, any pigment that you like but I'm choosing to use acrylics because I've got a load of really really cheap ones um, I mean they really were cheap they're, they're for school you know college and oh collage that says not college <laughs> but they are they, they produce it's color craft and they produce them largely to be used in schools that's why they're this ginormous size but they are cheap so for my background I'd quite like this entire journal to be sort of floral and, f f what is it, floral and fauna, f flora, flora and fauna. <laughs> it's not boding well, is it? No sound and I can't speak. Yeah, so like nature, let's just go with that, shall we, nature. So I've got this green, but it is a kind of hideous green really, isn't it? It's um, way too bright. So I'm just going to put a little bit of it out. 
like that that's probably too much actually even there i'm just going to leave the tops off my paint i've got an awful habit of shutting them and it takes ages then to um keep on doing them every time okay the first casualty of war is my finger that's gone yellow it is a bit of a mucky business this if you really don't like getting your hands dirty, I would suggest that you wear gloves because it just seems to me that you can't keep yourself clean. Well, I can't. So just to brighten up that green a little bit and try and make it a more manageable colour, I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow alongside it. Uh, I also want some magenta in it. And these are just the backgrounds, so don't get too carried away. Just a little bit, that'll do. A little dab will do you. And then we're gonna brayer it out onto here. So you want to cover the entire plate. Now don't worry if your plate does what mine does and sort of beads up. Um, it'll get over itself soon enough. So the first pull is just gonna be a bit of, bit of a nothing really until we get this uh, jelly plate into the right mind space. <laughs> Didn't know jelly plates had mind spaces. So there we are, let's just pull that one and it, it'll it'll be a waster, but that's just the way it is. So let's just use this that we've already used for something. You just place it on, smooth it out. And with this deli paper, you can see, you can see when it's taken the paint. This jelly plate of mine is really, really, really old and it hasn't been stored very well. So it's got marks on it, but I, I don't mind that actually. So there we are, that's our pull number one. And most often your first pull is a bit of a waste, but actually I, I don't dislike that really, it's okay. So we'll put that on the left hand side as a keeper. Um, and now I'm just, it's really hard for me to see because that light is glaring down on it and I can't see where the paint is. Now I'm just going to put quite a lot of this. Um, you could use white, you can use buff titanium, something just to pull what's left on that plate. So I'm just going to go over it with this because th there might be some nice stuff left on there. That was rather too much paint. So just even it out with your brayer and then we'll just pull that one and see what it's like. Bear in mind it's a background that we're after. So there we go. Let's see what happens with that one. That's quite nice for a background. Just a little bit of colour in it, it's quite nice. I quite like that one. It's probably a goer, a keeper. Um, right, I'm just going to clean my brayer off because it's got loads of uh, cream on it. So I'm just going to roll it off onto a, a piece of um, copy paper. And sometimes these turn out really nice. So don't be in too much of a hurry to throw those away. Right, so let's go back in then with a bit of that magenta. That is a right mess. I don't know how many of you have tried jelly plate printing. It's, it's more of an art than a technique, I think, probably. Um, let's try a little bit of purple. Why not? We can put purple on if we want. Just a little bit up there. And let's just do that. Let's leave it like that. See if I can get that to spread over the plate, which I think I probably can. The idea is that you don't want it left in those drops that you put it on. You, you, you know, you want to spread those out a, as much as you can. And you're kind of just painting with a brayer, really. You don't want to mix it all up completely and lose the definition of your colours. That potentially could be quite nice. So 
So I'll do four of these backgrounds and then we'll come in and we'll do some stencils on it and see how that goes. See if we can get one that we like, that we want to use. Um, some people go in with a brayer and brayer it down. I, I find with the deli paper, I get a nice print if I just use my fingers. So let's pull this and see what we've got. quite nice isn't it lots of bits of texture in it and stuff it's quite nice I quite like that one Ooh. okay okay what shall we do now well I'm liking the magenta and the purple together I like what that's giving us so a little bit of purple it's kind of hard just getting little bits out of these giant sized balls <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to put some of this on the this is kind of ivory color I don't know if it's a, but yeah it says buff titanium buff which is a, a good color um, I don't want white a lot of people would do this with white but I don't want white it would be too stark for the purposes that I have in mind for it So try and smudge the drops that you've put on, but try not to mix all your colours together. Because then you'll have no definition. So. I think that's okay. No key on. I wonder what's wrong. I buy this in great big sheets and cut it down. That's why it's kind of slightly irregular. <laughs> I've obviously lost the will by the time I get to here. Be prepared to lose quite a lot of your prints. You know, sometimes they just don't work. And if they don't work, well, they don't work. This looks like it might be a bit patchy. You know, I haven't... I haven't mixed the colours up enough, but we'll see. See what sort of pull we get. It's always exciting. Always do it again over the top. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah, that's it's too patchy. Look, I don't like that at all. But I'll keep hold of it because you can always print over it again. Um, but I think this might be all right actually. I've got quite a lot here still on my on my brayer. So let's put that out, see what we get. It might all be one similar colour, but you know, for a background, that might be okay. I'm running out of paint on my brace, so I'll have to put a little bit of something on it. It's so difficult for me to see because the light's just shining off the paint. Yeah, I think this one is going to be just kind of one colour all over. But that might not be a bad thing. There we go. So let's pull that, see what we've got. Oh, actually... It's quite nice. It's got that bit of definition, a bit of texture here. Yeah, that's all right. So let's just have a look and see what we've got. Let's move the mucky bits out of the way. Got this one that we've just done. Uh, that one I think was the one prior to it, maybe. No, that was the one prior to it. I really don't like that. That's never going to be anything, so it's going in the bin. Um, this one which I like as well this one I think that was our first pull and it was it's got almost too much color on that but I might use that first 
with the stencil just to see what happens. So just spread those out over there. So I'll keep this here and what I'm going to do is put just clean off my brayer because it's a bit monkey. There we go. Right, so I'm going to put my stencil, this stencil, I don't know if it's got right in the wrong side, but however, uh, on my jelly plate, and it is the perfect size, almost like somebody made it for a jelly plate, really. Um, and then I'm going to put some colour over that, Let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to use just the, just the titanium buff. And we'll just see what happens when I print it onto there. If anything, if it works, if it doesn't work. Just kind of have to get the hang of it and work out what works and what doesn't. So you need to push quite firmly to get into all those nooks and crannies of the stencil. And you might find it better to go one way and then to go the other to catch everything. It doesn't have to be a perfect stencil, that's kind of not really what we're aiming for. Okay, there we go. Right, so. Yeah, I'm going to put that over the top and not press it down very much and see what happens. Let's just see. See what occurs. So I'll put that on there like that. Do I need to press down anymore? Yeah, I do. All right, well, nothing happened. <laughs> nothing really happened. Fair enough. So now let's remove this. Look at that. But, but keep hold of that. And then let's get another one that we've done. Um, this one, perhaps. And let's place that. You've just got to be a bit canny about placing this. This is not much room to fiddle factor. So let's press that onto there. And see what happens now. There we are. Look at that. How gorgeous, how gorgeous is that? It's just beautiful, isn't it? And it, it's not perfect. You know, there's, there's a little bit missing here because we took that first pull off it. And <laughs> jelly, jelly printing is called monoprinting. And monoprinting means that you can only get one, one pull. There will only ever be one print that is this. You know, so you can't like, you know, people that have pictures and they have editions of runs, etc. that are all identical. This isn't going to be the case with this. This is it. One off. Done. Right. So let's have I got anything left on there. I don't think I have. I don't think I have. So let's uh, let's use a different stencil. If I can find one, here it is. So this is another one that's, um, you know, jelly plate sized. So let's do this a similar sort of thing. We've got our background, so we just need the stencil. But the backgrounds that I've got now are actually quite pale. These are the two I've got left, and they're quite pale. So I'm going to mix up some green. A little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of titanium buff. And see what colour that gives us. Who knows? Oh, it's nice though. Ooh, that's lovely. So I've got bits of yellow in it, I've got bits of green, and I don't want to mix them all 
to one exact color you know to the same color I'm trying to as much as I can keep them a little bit separate chunk of paint there in the middle that I don't want. There's low, the, the, what I'm showing you now is nothing. Jelly printing, I tell you, once you get into it, you'll never get out of it. You'll stay for days pulling print after print after print. Because you can use all sorts of things. You can use leaves or anything, anything at all. It's just magical. So let's see what we get this time if we pull this with no background. Probably nothing. Let's give it a try anyway. Oh, look! Look at that! You can't really see it very well on the camera. But it's really, really nice. Really nice. Okay, so let's remove this stencil now. Put it that way on there. And get one of our backgrounds that we've already done. I'll try this cream one. And we'll try and get it placed properly on the jelly plate. Let's see what we get this time. Everyone's a surprise. Some are total duffers, absolute total duffers. And you know, there's only one place for them. Don't don't try and resurrect them. It's not worth it. You could probably buy printing over and over, but what's the point? Ah, you see, that one hasn't come off too well. That one's just dull. The The money shot on that was the first one. Ah, there you go. Who'd have thought that? Not me. Uh, let's just clean my uh, brave a little bit. So we've got that one that's absolutely gorgeous. I love that one. I'm keeping it. And now I'm going to put some... Now this has dried a little bit. I'm going to put... Oh, not that much. Uh, some titanium, rough titanium on the back of there and try and uh, pull a print that will give me that that's still stuck on the jelly plate. I tell you, if you really want to know about jelly plate printing, go and look it up online because I, I only have time to show you the smallest little bit of it. And there's loads. Um, so I'll use this other background that we've got here. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to have to make some new backgrounds. This is going to do in the pink, I think, because it's going to be cream everywhere, but never mind. Yeah, well, I say we keep that as a background. That's what I say. And I've, I've still got some stuff left on here, so I'm going to put some pink on. I'm going to be a rebel. And I've got some, still got some titanium buff on there. So I'm just going to mix them up. I'm going to pull it on top of this one that I quite liked. So try and leave some areas that have got a bit more colour in than others. Like that, that looks about alright. Um, let's just do this, see what happens. Yeah, it's just um, obliterated for the, mo for the main part, the bit that we had down there. So, I just want to pull that off and get rid of it. It'll be a background. So there's still quite a bit on it. Yeah, that's clean to plate this time. And given us a really nice background, 
that's that's really nice i'll work on that now i like that one so let's get uh this thing out again whatever you call it stencil um this was the side i was working on and i'm going to put paint all the way through it again um what am i working on that so maybe i could do with some pink some pinkiness in my life this is magenta it's quite strong and a little bit of how about a little bit of blue, blue or red oh well if i put red and blue i'll get purple so double bubble so a little bit of blue up there oops that's more than a little bit and some red down in the other corner let's just see what we get you can hear how runny this paint is it's just i mean it's cheap it's so cheap but good enough for this definitely a little bit of red oh doesn't want to come out i'm worried i'm going to get a great big splot oh no oh So let's just clean off that. Let's just go through here. See what we get. This one's going to be darker, obviously. Time for a roll call, do you think? Oh, I'll try my best. I haven't really been keeping up. All oh, right, OK. Uh, Kim. Hi Kim. Jen. Hi Jen. Tommy. Hi Tommy. Tamira. Hi Tamara. Erin. Hello Erin. Jan. Hi Jan. Judy. Hi Judy. Nancy and Will. Hello Nancy and Will. Kerry. Hi Kerry. Nice Terry. to have you with us. Uh, who? Terry. Terry. Hi Terry. Rachel. Hi Rachel. Yvonne. Hi Yvonne. Stephanie. Hello Stephanie. Michelle. Hi Michelle. Marion. Hi, Marion. Violet. Hello, Violet. Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. And loads of other people I've probably missed. <laughs> right, so I've put that on there. Um, and my deli paper isn't picking this up, so I'm just going to try. Uh, this is just ordinary copy of paper. I'm just going to try that and see if it wants to pick anything up differently to my deli paper. Jen says, on today's episode of Experimenting with Fiona. I know, it's a bit like that, isn't it? <laughs> you can see why they don't have me in a lab anymore, can't you? Let's just add a little bit of this and see what happens. <laughs> Let's just pull that and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, that's not nothing. It's not nothing. It's quite nice, actually. Yeah, quite like that. But I still have now... Mike's making breakfast. Ah, uh, we've had our breakfast, we've had our lunch, we've had everything, everything that's coming my way, apart from the sugar-free sweeties that Nancy and Will sent me. Yes, they are gorgeous. The coffee caramels are, oh, to die for. So, which one of these shall I use? I quite like this one because it's quite bright anyway. Yeah, I mean, why not? Well, maybe because it's still wet. <gasps> Jen says bacon, sausage and a poached egg. Oh, sounds delish. Periwinkle Matilda says hi. Hiya. Or Ellie. <laughs> Hello, Ellie. <laughs> right, let's see what we get this time then. I'm excited for this one. I think this one's going to be a huge success. You watch now, it's going to be a complete disaster. <laughs> let's have a look and see. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that, guys. How how nice is that? So where's my other one? This one. So here are my offerings unto you. <laughs> this one's a really nice one, isn't it? It's gorgeous. But this one's bold and bright and beautiful. People have been asking why deli paper? Well, look, you don't have to use deli paper. I just use it because it's really easy to push down. So you tend to get a good um, print from it. You can use, I mean, here I just used ordinary 
This is ordinary copier paper, just to see if I would get a different result. And I guess, you know, use different paints, you'll get a different result. Use different papers, you'll get a different result. Uh, certainly if you use a different jelly plate, you get a different result, because mine's got divots in it. <laughs> so that doesn't make for good jelly plate printing. But um, yeah, experiment. The, the deli paper, you could use greaseproof paper, I reckon, if you've got it. Um, I just like it because it's it's light, it dries quickly, um, it takes the paint nicely, I can push it down really easily and it sticks to anything I want to stick it to quite easily so that's why I use it but you don't have to. You do not have to at all. Let's get another piece of this. Let's just clean my brayer off a bit. Oh look at that, the print came out on my brayer. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't take much to excite me. <laughs> right, let's... Th Luckily. This should have pretty much dried by now. So I'm safe to go on with another colour. Um, and the other... You could use white at this stage. I'm going to use this buff titanium because it fits in better with the project that I have in mind. Um, but if you want a cleaner look, then use white. I mean, you could use any colour. Ellie says you could use tracing paper and make washi. Yeah. You could use anything. I mean, experiment. That's what this is kind of about, really. Experimentation. And I'm no aficionado with a jelly plate, I can tell you that. Although I do love playing with it. Right, so let's just see if this gives us, yields anything for us. Might, it might not. But with the deli paper, I can really push it in there, even into all the cracks. Well, they're not cracks, the divots really around the outside from storing it incorrectly. But I can get this pushed into to that. So let's have a look and see what we got. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh. That might be my favourite. What do you think, Mr. F? That might be my favourite. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, I like that a lot. He likes it a lot. Right. Shall I keep going for one more? or? Well, you're going to, aren't you? I don't know. I'm just... I'm just yeah, I've got two backgrounds, so why wouldn't I? I've got two backgrounds here. Just waiting for something to go on them just waiting so let's uh let's do a light green i did a light green before didn't i oh yeah it turned out to be a background so a little bit of that a little bit of this <gasps> mike you'll love this you'll just love it it's just made for you mike i'm telling you um i might put some white in that actually really really lighten it up a bit if i can find white yeah it might not be in keeping with what we're doing, but what the heck, eh? So I'm going to put a fair bit of white in there. And I've still got this, which I don't want really, to be honest. It's not the, it's not the correct hue. But you see, bits like that, there's some lovely bits. You could fussy cut, you could die cut things like that and get a nice result. So I want to mix this a bit, but not entirely. Because I don't want it. If you're the sort of the person that likes the same thing twice, it's not for you. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not for you. It's definitely, very definitely mono printing. You get one pull. That's it. Story of my life. I'm not sure, but I think that looks like it's not mixed particularly well. So just mix it up a bit with the. Um, yeah, that might be all right. Um, I'm going to keep that to one side because I really like that one. Uh, I'm looking for my, yeah, this. this Mike is says they only have cherry jello. Would that work as a jelly plate? <laughs> uh, you can make your own jelly plates. Um, personally, myself, I wouldn't recommend it. They just disintegrate and 
you'd just be sorry you did it. I mean, life's too short. Just go and buy one. It's one of those things, can you do it? Yes. Do you want to do it? No. Yeah, make it. You mean? Yes. Yeah. I think people always say, oh, you can make your own, so it doesn't have to be expensive. Just to kind of cover themselves. Um, you can, yeah, you can make them. You can make them. But don't bother yourselves, because they keep cracking, and you've got to keep putting them back in the microwave. Yeah, nothing happened to that one. Nothing. Disaster. So I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to pull what's left on there. Uh, I haven't got anything. Oh, I've got a pink. Look at that. Out of nowhere came a pink. Is that a pink? That's the other side. That'll do me anyway. It's all right. So I'm just, I can't actually see through this. It's just a bit hit and miss where it ends up. So let's see this one. This will be, I think, our, probably our penultimate one. disappointment the background color wasn't strong enough oh that is a disappointment I don't think you can see either for the light really can you just about I'm going to try and do it again yeah I want to move on I want to move on I've got loads of this color on this brayer but it's the same color that's on there so it's not really going to do me much do make much good at all. So it's just. Joan says she tried making a belly plate. No, never, not worth it. No. It's not. Not when you consider how much they are. I mean, they're not cheap. Not the cheapest things in the world to buy. Um, but if you look after it, it'll last for years. I didn't obviously look after mine. It still lasted for years. Uh, I, I'm, I might just keep hold of that. It's not. As it's drying, it's getting a bit better, actually. So I just keep hold of that one. Um, I'll just clean this off. I'll, 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 I'll pull it off with white. See what we get. Something and nothing, I presume. So it's amazing, the little bits that are left on your plate, sometimes they can give you just the best of pulls. Just interesting. There we go. So uh, let's just. Yeah, and the other good thing about deli paper is it's not expensive. I, I reckon if you went to, to um, a caterer's, online caterer's, and looked for like fish and chip paper, it'd probably be cheaper than it is in the craft section because you know how they like to put prices up for us crafters. I've had mine for years, I can't even remember where I got it. Yeah, there's not much going on there. I'll keep that though for a background, it's alright for a background. And this background here, I'm just going to see if I can get any more up of what's on there. I don't think so, I think it's dry. but. No, it's all right. We'll live with what's on there. Right, let's do one more of the the pushing the stencil through. Clean that off. I don't know what that is. No, oh, it's my stencil. Right, so I've got that background and that background i don't like that there's nothing that has no redeeming features for me so it can go the journey right so i'm just going to use both of these backgrounds and see what happens so and um, first thing i'm going to do is put this onto here this is getting dried up quite a lot now so it's going to take a bit of washing but heady holdy um and i'm going to use some magenta I'm sticking, oh, <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of magenta um, and a bit of purple. 
and I, that's probably sufficient for this whole blooming thing because the magenta went a bit bonkers on its way out that's the problem with these great big enormous pots you know I can get get away with another color there I think um, let's just go with a purple Jen said rum and coke time did I hear <laughs> yes mine <laughs> yeah Mr F's I've, I've already got mine here just topping up the rum and coke Jen right so that's that it's all pretty much one color that's very boring really you could do with another color but it didn't happen that way so i'm just going to put this on the top and see what comes off so far we've been a bit disappointed with this but you never know Oh, I'm not disappointed this time. Look at that. Just when I said I was disappointed, throw something up that you're just not expecting. It's bizarre, isn't it? So let's take that off. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to use this one that's just... The, the, there is a background there, but it's barely there. Let's see if I can get this on something like straight. About there, I would say. Don't worry if it wrinkles and crinkles and everything. Um, a bit of character is good. So, ah, oh, look at that. There is pink and there is purple in it. It's not just all one colour. Oh, I like that so much. Yes, I do. Right, so all that I'm going to do now is just give that a little waft. Oh, there's a bit of, I don't know what that is, cat hair, something like that. Um, just to dry it, because it pulls off better when it's dry. And I'm going to use the uh, titan, titan, oh, that, that, that's a bit monkey. The titanium buff just to put over the top of this dry and the titanium buff should pull off the dry bits that's left on there that's a theory it sometimes works it sometimes doesn't just gently spread it out like i say you can use inks you could use Use anything that's going to give you colour. Right, so that's just all one colour there. Let's get another piece of deli paper. If I was you, I'd make a rule before you start that you're not going to do any more than, say, 10 or 20 or something. Because you, you just get away and you do so many. And then they go in a drawer, then you forget about them. And then the next time you want some, you get your jelly plate out and start all over again. So, you know. Just limit yourself. <laughs> Say, how many do I need for this project? And what's a feasible amount of backups? And stop then. So let's just have a look and see if this has pulled any of the stuff that was on the jelly plate off. Might have done it, might not have done. I'll give it every chance by giving it a really good rub. Let's have a look. Oh, I see. Look at that. That was just what was left on the on the jelly plate. And that's a really nice delicate one, isn't it? Still no keyong. This is very odd. So, right, let me give some washing up to Mr. F. It does if you don't want to wash your jelly plate, don't worry about it. Um it, it'll be fine, just left like that. And then the next time you come, you might pull that off and it might be more exciting and you never know, do you? Uh, so, I need that washed, that washed, that washed and that washed. 
um, that's my spare deli paper that's just my oops come back to mama um, yeah I'll keep those because I quite like those I don't know where to put them but I'll keep them could I bother you Mr F to just do a little bit of washing up thank you very much so I'm going to put the lids back on my uh, paints and then let's just have a look and see see what we got out of that lot shall we my desk's now taken over by these <laughs> giant paints right let's see then I'm just going to throw that bit of kitchen towel away because it's got loads of paint on it and you know you just know where it's headed don't you uh, I'm sorry I didn't clean my um, this but I knew that I was going to be doing messy stuff today so I left it right so we've got this one really nice I like that one we've got this one which is also actually quite nice this one mm, not so keen on it's a beautiful print actually it's probably the best print out of all of them but I just I'm not keen on the colors so if I'm not keen now I never will be uh, that one no that's quite nice it's quite delicate mm. this one is heavy it's heavy with paint um, but it is quite a nice print, isn't it? And then this one, which is also nice. So, what have we got that we like? What were the one, where are the ones that I did yesterday? Just for a little practice yesterday. I did some, but I don't know where I put them. I don't know where they've gone. So, let's, let's choose one out of these ones to go with um, I really do like that it's very very delicate and I like that as well but that's such a good print <gasps> I don't know I don't know let me have a drink while I have a think about it this is a, one of the ones I did yesterday I did, I did have more than one. Oh yeah here they are that one, where I purposely mixed up purple and yellow to give me this brown colour, which I really like. Uh, that one. And this one, which I, I love. I love that one. Uh, so those were yesterday's little attempts. But I think we've improved. I think today is a little bit better. So which one to go with? Um this one I think this one let's go with that one. but I'm definitely keeping the others because they are um, very very usable so they go in my jelly plate file that I have right so now what I want to do is trim this out <laughs> so I'm just going to trim along the edges Bear in mind, it's, it can't possibly be straight because the paper wasn't cut straight and the jelly plate probably wasn't straight on it. So um, you just have to do your best to get it straight. So now we know that is straight. So we can use that. And while you're on your feet, Miss Jeff, could you get me a throat lozenger, please? There we go, and put this one down as well. It's amazing to think, isn't it? We've made these prints. We've actually made them. Thanks very much, my love. That's the one I selected. Do you like it? I do. I like it a lot. Right, so they can just go in the bin. Here's our selection. Yeah, I'm pleased we selected that. It's it's really nice. So let's get one of the pages out of the signature that we're going to be using. And I'd like this to go all the way. Oh, look at that. I just need to trim a weeny little bit off and it'll be the right width. 
so let's just attend to that now I'm just going to trim it off down here because it looks like it should have been trimmed off anyway Janya says hi she's lurking she's back at work oh Janya no I thought you still had time off I thought she was after two weeks. Yeah, that, we have never had two weeks, have we? So, yeah, that's just the right size for there. <laughs> Except the obvious problem is it just ain't long enough. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, what, my, what I propose doing is cutting it about halfway and moving the bottom half down and then putting like a, a tummy tuck across there. That's the plan. So let's have a look and see what this measures. It measures almost six inches, so let's cut it at almost three and we'll be fine. Nancy O'Rourke says hi. Hi Nancy. From California. Hiya. Right, so there we are, I've got two pieces there. I prefer that edge not to be on the edge um, and the same there so if I pop those there they're going to look fine I just need you know obviously I need something in the middle here <laughs> oh dear so I think the time's come probably to stick these down can't prevaricate any longer <laughs> um yeah glue in amongst a sea of big bottles of paint so well you know it's difficult to know isn't it I might use my um, Elmer's glue to be honest with you um, could you just pass me is I think the dictionary is over there I think you're not getting any rest today are you nope Isa says hi Isa hi Isa how are you doing hope you're all right is Peg on? Has she managed to join us live? Maybe not. Maybe they're still touring. Because this is deli paper, it's really thin. So I'm thinking that the Elmer's glue stick will be absolutely adequate for it. I mean, the thickest thing about this paper is the acrylic paint that's on it, to be fair. Very cool. Said so that is so beautiful, Fiona. Oh, thank you, Ellie. And Sharon says it looks like old wallpaper. Yeah, it does, but that was kind of... Oh, it's easy to say it now, isn't it? But that was kind of the look I was going for, really. I love this damask. Anybody that knows me that's watched me more than two weeks will know I absolutely love damask. It's just kind of one of my favourite things. And I think I really like it. But, you know, one of the main reasons is... Just check my head's in place. Um is that it's kind of like shabby chic wallpaper it just reminds me of that and i love it that that elmer's is fine for that i'll tell you uh, just for future reference but don't all rush out and buy deli paper try it with um photocopier paper first that is assuming you've got a jelly plate print first thing to do go onto youtube and go and watch every video you can find about jelly plate printing and you will see there are so many things you can do with it some are a bit twee i mean you know some people use leaves and that as a stencil everybody does it don't do it it's dull every single person who gets a new jelly plate must go out scouring around their roads to get blinking leaves and i've got i've got some here somewhere of uh, of leaves and feathers. <laughs> and feathers yeah i mean yeah do it if it makes you happy why not but it's been done to death i'll just say that could i give you that please I'm, I'm just swamped with large paint um let's see if i can find some of my deli yeah, prints the large paint away. oh that would be great it would save Did that feeling of it, claustrophobia yeah finished finished with it yeah yeah i have uh, I don't know where all my previous jelly plate printing went, but there was loads of leaves and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know, where, where, what does it I, look like? I had it this morning, I think. I don't know, where did I put it? I don't know. 
I thought it was kind of pinkish. No, never mind, it's gone on the missing list. Right, so what we're we going to do about this bit in the middle? Is it together with something? Yeah, or? no, just quite a sheaf of it on its own. Um, did I throw it in the bin? Oh, I might have thrown it in the bin, you know. <gasps> yeah, I've thrown it in the bin. It obviously was dull. <laughs> it was dull as ditch. Let's have a look. Let's see. Let's go through the bin. Let's go through the bin. Come to the diving with Miss P. Oh, I don't know if it is. No, I don't think it is. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't even know what I'm looking for, really. Lots of um, like pink and orange prints. Did I did I put I put them in? Did I put them in here? No, maybe. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, they're here. They're here. They're here. They are here. I'm showing you prints that are dull. So I don't know why I'm bothering. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know why I'm bothering. Let me just spend five minutes looking for some prints that's not worth showing you. Right, so that was obviously from yesterday's where I was trying to get that greeny browny thing going on. I quite like that. That's all right. Um, that that's never going to get used. Let's do that a favour. Uh, that's a page out of a book. Yeah, here you go. You see, pink, black. Ah, these are the ones I've kept. Hang on, there's a load here that are kept. <laughs> <laughs> these are for my grunge journal look at this I've, they're here the other ones are here underneath don't panic um yeah i kept these i did these on my larger jelly plate and don't you love the professionalism of them? <laughs> it's the right show uh, and that's got copper in it i don't know if you can see it but it's yeah it's got copper in it and i thought that that would look lovely somewhere in our uh, grunge journal and this one. It's got some nice colours in there. It's nice. Uh, and this one, it's a bit paler, but even so. Yeah, you see, this is on um, copier paper. You get, you just get a bit of a different print, really. Um, that's nice. I thought there was some nice passages in there that we could cut out and use in the uh, grunge. And this one I love. It's got bits of gold in it. And it, oh, I just love it. Look at that. It's so... Mm. That, no, I don't know. It's got gold in pink, maybe. Uh, this one's got copper in. So I did that over the top of a blue one, just so I wouldn't waste a sheet of deli paper. But I quite like that. It's quite nice. This one's possibly my favourite. See, this is the scar that's in my big jelly plate because something... I've stored it with something on top of it. So that's actually in the jelly plate. So there's not much I can do about that. But that looks quite nice. Um, and that one. Then we come on to the ones that are the naff ones. Uh, there's that. That's no use to man the beast, is it really? Then this. This is what I was telling you about. Everybody does leaves. Everybody, including me. When I first got it, that's what I did. And I thought, oh, that's nice. I'll use that. Well, where? Where would you use that? Uh, this, that's no good. It's just nothing. That, I just was scribbling on the on the plate. Took a pull of it. There's part of the actual leaf. <laughs> uh, this, just stencils on it. There's the leaf. That's quite a successful one if you were actually into leaves. Looks quite nice. Uh, this was just, I don't know. Just making marks on it, I think. See what happened. That, yeah, that, yeah. This, I don't even know what that's about. It's a card. I never send cards. Uh, that's a st uh, stencil I've got. Uh, this one, obviously, with leaves on it. There's different stencils, just plain with goldy metallic paint. Who knows what that is? Oh, look, there's a needle and thread. Oh, and some stitching. That's quite cute. And some fabric. You might be able to see it. I'm trying to get it. Yeah, there's a, a, a needle and thread there. There's a needle. There. These are bits of fabric because they've got frayed edges. And then this is a bit of sewing along here. It's 
do the stitch. So I obviously thought that was a good idea. That was probably when I was doing the textiles degree, <laughs> in fairness. Um, that, yeah, that's just been done on top of uh, where I've rolled my brayer off. That, now, as far as prints go, that's a bob on one. But isn't it horrible? I just don't like that. Uh, or that, I don't know why I got so taken up with browns and yellows. Um, I don't like that much either. That's okay. That's not too bad. Maybe it's just my tastes have changed over the years, I don't know. Anyway, I don't like those, but I can't bring myself to chuck them out. Don't know why, but I can't. And these ones on the top, you'll see them again because I'm going to use them for... Um... Ros and Jim have got to go. Oh, bye Ros, bye Jim. Take it easy. Right, so that's that's that. That's you being out through everything jelly plate. Uh, right, okay, so what am I going to do with this? Well, I've got some of that paper that, I don't know, I introduced you to it some time ago. It's from Hobbycraft. It's 40 pages and it was really, really cheap. It was in the children's section. And it's kind of like that sugar paper that you used to get in um, scrapbooks when you were, uh, I had in scrapbooks when I was a little girl. So you could cut things out of magazines and newspapers and stick them on. See, even as a little girl, I was making junk journals. Um, and it's got pink, it's got this sort of orangey beigey colour, um, and somewhere there is a green as well. So, um, which, which colour shall we use? I've got some remnants here, let's just see which looks nicest. Um, well, that looks okay. Don't have any ill feeling towards that. Or that one. Well, I'm probably going to go for green, aren't I? That remnant's just not quite long enough, so let's take another piece of green. And let's just mark this where we want to cut it. So I want it the same width. Do I want it wider so I can fold a bit in at the end? No, probably not. Probably not. Just the same width as this will do me fine. Um, pencil. Here we are. Um, See, so yeah, I'm going to mark it exactly the same width as that. And I want it, you know, to overlap top and bottom by half an inch-ish. So I'll cut that there. Lovely. There's a lot of stuff on my desk. There really is. I mean, at the moment, I've got the Back to Basics going on. I've got the... Um, can't exactly see where my pencil mark is. There's something new, isn't it? I think it's there. Yeah, back to basics. The grunge, both of which I'm really loving doing. And uh, now this um, collaboration with Kiyun. So I've got lots on the go. Fortunately, I have got two desks. So I can have my grunge on one, my back to basics and collaboration on another. Let's just check that that's the right size. Perfect, my goodness, you'd think I'd done it before. Right, but it's kind of a bit plain. So uh, what I've thought of doing is using some mixed media paper. And I'm going to cut it so it just has a green border all the way around it. Just so it looks nice. So just mark inside that border, inside that one there. And then we'll cut that off. I did do a practice for today's guys. <laughs> so if you're thinking it's terrible, <laughs> you should have seen the practice. So let's cut that off there and just trim that little end off there. Lovely. Right, OK. Oh, 
I should have also said to you that any of the remnants that I get uh, left over from this project, I'm going to keep in a separate sort of um, envelope, box, drawer, something like that. So as if ever, you know, we get collage as a, as a prompt, I will already have quite a load of stuff that will fit in the book because I want the theme of this book throughout, and it, this will come as no great shock to you at all. Uh, I think I've already told you this, haven't I? Flora and fauna. Maybe I had no sound on at the time. But anyway, that's kind of what I'm going for with this. The whole journal. Keong, the collaboration she's doing with Terry from Sweet Pea Papers. And if you haven't seen Terry's uh, channel, pop over and give it a look. Um, she's been doing Mr. Green. She's been doing one a day of Mr. Green. And she's doing so well with it. It's just, oh, it's a lovely job. Um, but she's also doing a collaboration with Keong. And they do it in a very similar manner. We could, you know, choose a prompt week about. And Terry always puts hers up on um, YouTube and so does Keong. So, yeah, you know, well worth a look. Um, right, so on here, I'm thinking that I'm going to stamp some butterflies. Because they are in, <laughs> in keeping with my fauna, my fauna. Right. Here's a stamp pad. Excellent. Here's some ink. <laughs> and in my drawer, yay, I have some stamps. So, let's see then. I'd quite like... I don't know if that's big enough, actually. Yeah, it might be, just about. Uh, I'd quite like a largish one in the middle. Yeah, that one, maybe. That one. Um, maybe this one. So it might be a bit large. Never mind. We'll see. I'm going to put them in a bit of a kilter, and the reason I'm doing that is I don't trust myself to get them square. <laughs> so I'm putting them in a kilter. <laughs> Seems like an obvious move. Um, and I've got two little ones. Are they too little? What about that one? That one would fit. And uh, another one that size, which would be this one. Like that. Let's just budge him over a little bit. Let's try and get these fairly central. I can always trim a bit off if I really, really make a mess, but I'd prefer not to. He, he's looking like he wants to go straight. So, right, I'm, I'm going with that. I'm going with that. I think that's okay. So I'm using stays on because I'm going to be using uh, something with water in a minute. Um, and if you use distress ink and then you go back in with something that's, uh, you know, water, watercolour, ink, distress ink, anything like that, it'll just fade your ink away like it was never there. Right, so let's see if I can get this something like. Let's try it there. So there we go. One, two, three. Oh, perfect. Oh, wow, that's good. Right, so I've got another piece of um, tea bag paper that I'm using as a drop cloth. So I'll just stamp that off. There's not much left on it, actually. Stamp it off onto there. That's all right, it's pretty. I need to get, Na Nancy sent me, oh, so kindly sent me a, a Red Cross package from Colorado <laughs> and in, in it was a, a stamp scrubber and as you can see I mean I really need to use it obviously she obviously took one look at my stamps and thought poor girl so um I, I really need to get that out and get them get them cleaned up because it's not as if they're cheap is it stamps right so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to waft that with a little bit of warm air. I'm pretty sure it's dried. Stays on, doesn't take long to dry, but just give it a bit of a, a bit of a waft. That'll be fine. And uh, I'm just going to get my watercolours out. Just my little dough. Ellie's things. got to go. Oh, bye, Ellie. Thanks for joining. Hope we didn't bore you. Thank you for a great live. <laughs> you should watch more of it later. Oh, that's lovely. 
that's lovely right so I've got some water here I've got my water colors out I'm just going to give them a little spritz across the top just to waken them up a bit and I need a I can use my stamp pad that'll do <laughs> just hopeless honestly don't be as lackadaisical as I am right so my paper then is kind of magenta isn't it well it, it is magenta <laughs> and I don't have a magenta in there but I think maybe if I mixed up purple and a bit of red that might give us quite a nice colour there we go let's try that so let's do the the big chap first so I'm just dropping colour in there beside his uh, body so that's going to be the darkest colour in there then I'm just going to get a bit of water on my brush and just pull that out towards the edge of him so it's just a bit paler on the outer bits of his wing than in the middle bit this is all a faff, you don't need to bother with all this if you don't want to. Just get your crayons out. I just like any excuse to get my watercolours out basically, but you know, you do not have to. So there we are, we've got him. Blimey, can you come in a little bit please? Folks will be needing their binoculars. lovely lovely now you can see what i'm up to so i'm just going to take another little bit of this really dark well it's not really dark it's just the darkest we've got and just go in again next to his body so it's much darker as you come in like that lovely right so shall I do the other ones in the same colour? That's the question. The other colour I've got is green because I'm using the green band. So I could use green. But that who's seen a green butterfly? Actually, yeah, there might be some now come to think about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do green. I'm going for it. I'm go I nearly put that in instead of water. What sort of ninny am I? Oh, right, Charlie. Right, so rinse your brush off thoroughly because that magenta that's on it, once it goes in the green, you'll end up with brown. That's probably not what we're aiming for. So there's a bit of green. I'm just going to spray some water down there. Tiniest diddly drop. I'm going to come in with this fella and I'm going to make him green. So I'm just going from his body outwards, rinse my brush off, pick up a bit of water and just pull that out towards the edge of his wings. And the other two wings. Mike says he loves it when you do watercolour. <laughs> This is just something and nothing, Mike. It's just, it could have easily been done with crayons. It's just, I took it into my head. I was going to do watercolour. And Mike says, Jen made a mess with the poached egg. She's just back from cleaning it up. <sighs> Perhaps she ought to stick to her other job. <laughs> uh, shall I do that one green as well? Have a bit of symmetry. No, let's not. Let's not go for symmetry just clean that off there and I'm going to go for um, this which they describe as what do they describe it as burnt yellow ochre and I might add a bit of mango to it just to zest it up a bit yeah look at that that's like a butterfly oh there you go that's like a butterfly color there I say so it's a bit of this yellow ochre and a bit of mango if you happen to have these Derwent uh, watercolour sets, they are great, I like them a lot. So I'm just going in close to his body with the pure colour and just rinse that out 
and just pull that out towards the edge of his wings. Like that, just do a little bit of water there. Just push that out towards the edge of his wings. Right, so there we are, there we have it. That's the extent of the watercolour. I might just put another little darker bit in there just to accentuate it. Okay, right, that's us finished with watercolour in then. It's hardly worth dirty in the brush, really. But it's nice, it's an added something, isn't it? Let's just clean this off. Good use for a stamp pad, isn't it? There we are, lovely and clean, just like it never happened. Right, so that's going to go on there, but except for the fact that... Let's put that away. All right, okay. So here we are. Uh, it looks a bit like I've splodged my paint. <laughs> uh, looks a bit plain, really, I would say. And given that the prompt for the day is stencil... Look at that when I lift my hand up, it goes darker. That's bizarre, isn't it? Anyway, that's an aside. Um, you know the stencils that you've just washed? <laughs> would you like them back? I would actually like them back. I'm just going to waft over here. I'm pretty sure that titchy amount of paint we put on is dry. But let's just um, give them the benefit of the doubt. Thank you, my love. I don't need that one. Just this one. Oh, forgot I had that bit of green there. So I'm just putting some heat on the back just to um, straighten the paper out again. So there we have it. Um, and yeah, it's going there. Yes, we know that. So I've got some distress ink called Forest Moss. I didn't know if I was going to like it, so I only bought a mini. And anyway, you lot know how stingy I am when it comes to um, buying big ink pads. I just can't bring myself to do it for some reason. So I'm going to take one of my, um, well, the chopping boards actually, but I use them as inking boards. Lester says hi. Hi, Lester. And I'm going to put this. This and is Dina. Dina. Hello, Dina. Dina masquerades as Lester. Oh, I see. So I'm just going to pop that on there like that. And I'm going to get my forest moss, which turns out to be a really lovely colour. And I really wish I'd bought a big ink pad, but I didn't. Before I do that, I'm just going to go go for the rum and coke. Yeah. Ah, uh, fueled by rum and coke. Right, so that, just check that it's kind of straight along the bottom. Um, ish. 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 So pick up some colour on one of your nice brushes or whichever blending tool you have, sponge, whatever it is. And we're just going to come over here. And we're going to give the butterflies a bit of a wide berth. But I do want a little bit up in between them. So hold on to your stencil firmly. Tape it down if you're not sure. Yeah, tape it down if, if you're uncertain that you can hold it. And it's a good idea always to do that, to blot the worst of the ink, if you like, off. You can go back later on and pick it up. But you'll get a darker piece on your, on your work if you don't blot it off when you start. So I think that's okay. Yeah, there we are. That looks pretty, doesn't it? Stenciled. So we've, we've double stenciled. Right, so let's see. This is going to go onto here. And that green now makes sense, doesn't it? Really does make sense. So what I want to do before I stick it on there is I just want to do a couple of scribbly lines around it. Just to demarcate 
<laughs> that's a big word, isn't it? I'm not even sure it's the right word. Uh, where the white ends and where the green begins. So I'm using a fine liner. This happens to be, and I can never pronounce this word, Steitler? Steitler? Let's go with that. Tripless fine liner. So I, I'm going to go around it twice with wiggly lines. I don't want them to look straight because if I tried to make them straight, they wouldn't be. So I'm just going to exaggerate the wonk. <laughs> and we all know I've got plenty wonk to exaggerate. You could stitch around this if you wanted to. And probably, if it wasn't that I was doing a live, I probably would stitch around it. But this is a fine alternative. I quite like this. So make sure that you do make it look like the were never meant to be straight. So there we are. That's just a, just frames it. Just looks better, I think. So let's stick that onto there then. And I'm just going to use my collar. I don't need to stick my finger, I need to stick the card. Right, so I don't think there's much of a margin around here, but let's try and get it accurate. There we go. Lovely. So that was the reason that I used the um, mixed media paper because I knew that I was going to be watercolouring on them. You would probably be all right with most cards, I would have thought, for a tiny little bit of watercolouring like that. Um, you'd get away with most. So I'm just going to stick that on there. And that's going to be our page. I'm going to use art glitter. Let's just see how much overlap I've got. Oh, I'm getting on for three quarters of an inch, probably, that is. So just down each side, don't get carried away and make it into a pocket. Well, unless you want to. But the prompts, uh, ladies and gents, who... Ah, oh, look what I'm doing, what, exactly what I told you not to do. Exactly what I said, don't do that. What did I do? I went ahead and did it. <laughs> oh dear. It's not easy being me. Yeah, if you are following along with these prompts every week, don't forget that the prompt itself is stencil. <laughs> yeah, Mr. F's just come up with this. Miss F makes mistakes, mistakes, so you don't have to. Yeah, so don't make it into a pocket. <laughs> oh, my life. So let's pop that there. We know it goes flush with the edge of that. And down there, lovely. So it's just use that seeing as it's there give it a good press down and there we go right so i have not made a journal card i haven't even thought what i'm going to make a journal card out of um hmm, that's interesting isn't it what shall i make the journal card out of Suzanne Sears says uh, her eyes are happy when she looks at that piece. Oh, what a lovely thing to say. Um, question is, should I make the journal card now or should I just go and lie down in a darkened room? I'm looking back through these um, jelly prints that we've got to see if any would be nice as a journal card. That's quite nice, isn't it? I think that's quite nice. This has got quite a bit of blue in, which we don't have on the page. This, mm, that's a possibility. Right, so our possibilities are as follows. Could you, i bother you just to come out a wee bit, please, sorry. Mm. 
yeah that's lovely so i've got this one that's nice actually isn't it or this one oh i don't blooming know that one's paler it's speaking more to me what's everybody saying thank you stephanie for the reminder everybody if you please could click the thumbs up it it makes a huge difference with the way that youtube see our our live stream for some reason um use one of the jelly prints yes they're in ouch miss p it looks like catkins got yeah he did <laughs> it's a little so and so uh yes i've decided to just work on it when i can and enjoy and not stress yeah jen don't stress junk journals are not for stressing about uh what are the golden books about well michelle if you have a look on my channel go to the playlist section and you'll see there's at least one playlist on there that is the, the golden books um, and it's one i did for absolute beginners there's one that's the ballerina and there's another one that's santa um holiday themed so uh, have a look at those and you'll find out all you ever didn't need to know about golden books um uh absolutely jen oh michelle that's how i found yes a, a lot of people found me um through that little golden book so yeah I'm the lighter one says stephanie and that's what i'm going for then on your head be it stephanie <laughs> not that i'm putting any pressure on you or anything right down here i've got some bits of green file folder <laughs> that's it it takes up the whole page <laughs> takes up the whole screen um could you come out a little bit please it's just ridiculous thank you in out shake it all about do the hokey cokey yeah that's that's better so what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure a piece of this file folder that i kept um, I, I used the rest of it for something else and I kept this bit. So I want to come in a bit because that glue will have spread under there and just mark the, the other side equally to there. And then I want it, well, I can't have it. doesn't matter what I want. I can't have it any more than this. So that's about there. Way, hey, hey. That's about there. So let's cut that off and see where we're at. Does that fit in there? Might. Does it heck us like? Okay, then up comes the jolly green giant. <laughs> it's it's such a good cutter this, but my goodness me, it's ungainly. Um Right, so there's my mark. So I want to just cut it there. Make sure you're straight at the bottom, straight up that line, straight everywhere you can do. So I'll put that down where I found it and cut this one off here. And then we should have a journal inside. Doesn't look very big, does it? Have I cut it off correctly? Yeah as big as it can be if you hear a crash it's that falling over because i can't be bothered to do battle with it to get it to stand up again so right now i need to cut this out to the right size so right along the top and bottom let's do that first all right mr off were you about to say something no fair enough Oh, okay, fair enough. Mr. F, in the Red Cross parcel that we got from Nancy, fancy Nancy that is, um, her and Will had sent Mr. F some toffee that is made in their own um, neck of the woods. And I, couldn't, I can't have any because obviously I'm diabetic. Well, Obviously, if you know me, I'm diabetic. Um, so it was for him. 
and it said um, so many three pieces was it was on was 160 30 grams is 160 calories yeah which is like nothing <laughs> and guess what he's polished the whole lot off i put it in the fridge and it evaporated what can i say <laughs> you could blame the cat talking about the cat as here before as i always am yeah that's the toffee that they sent him really delicious i'm led to believe but i'm keeping hold of the box because that's a beautiful little box don't know what i'll keep in it she also sent me some pink clips so actually it'd be fitting if i kept the pink clips in that box wouldn't it mr yes perfect because it's now empty yes it's empty uh yeah talking of catkin i was sitting here before and i could hear him crying like properly crying not just meowing but like crying and what, what's the matter what's he got into now so i just need a little bit more off there um so we were searching for him where is he and we could hear him and he was down around my desk somewhere but we just couldn't see him um and then i opened one of the drawers and there he was he was actually in the drawer which was closed but at the back it's well i wouldn't say it's open it's not open um but he'd somehow found a way in and there he was in the drawer and he couldn't find his way out poor little soul <laughs> so there we are i think that's about right there it's not going to be the world's most massive thing this is it i'll be big enough i think well it's going to have to be because that's kind of all there is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna use glue stick for that again. I haven't got my dictionary, but I'll just carry on because this wallpaper is going the journey at the end of this live. It's been good, but it's time it went. Just in time for tomorrow's grunge. <laughs> Are you guys enjoying the grunge or is it a bit of an ordeal? Let's just get this something like straight. Oh, I could have done with that. That's a bit a bit long. I wonder if I can peel it off. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. I wonder if I can get it in the Timmy trimmer. <laughs> I don't think I will but never mind. you got to try. you got to try these things. Let's pull it off a fair bit. No, that's that's just not that's just not going to work, is it? I mean, don't be silly. Tommy loves the green. Oh, thank Tommy you. He likes the grunge. Oh, great. Carrie likes the grunge. Oh, wow. Michelle likes the grunge. Oh, that's good. I thought that. I don't know. I thought you might not like it. Right, I'm going to have to take my scissors to this, and this is. It's not going to end happy, I'll tell you now. I'm probably going to end up having to make another one of these, aren't I? Oh, you know what? It's not that bad. It isn't that bad at all. It's not perfect, but it's a junk journal. Right, there we go. So let's pop that into there. Like that, and we have a journaling card. Yeah, that's all right. I'm not doing any further stenciling to the journaling card because it is ostensibly a stencil that we took off the jelly plate. So there we have it, page one, day one. Lovely. So let's pop that, the rest of that signature back inside. And of course, ultimately, it'll have a, co a cover and whatever. But that's it, that's page one. Erin said ink it and you'd never know. Yeah, I think so. It's just. Leave it. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. I, I don't really like that green card when it's inked. You could put a wobble line around it. 
Yeah, I could put a wobble line round it. That might help. That'd distract your eye. Yeah, let's do that. Get let's your wonk on, Miss get, P. Get your wonk on, right. Um, let's start from here. Yeah, this might be our saviour. It might be. Might not be. Don't know. We'll see. Okay, let's go round again. Don't know if you guys are seeing this actually, it's quite a fine line. That's because it's a fine line. It says maybe trim the green a little. Ah, Jen, you know, you always come up with the perfect solution. Remember when I did that boo boo of the stamp at Christmas? And you came up with a perfect solution. Yeah, I'll trim the green a little. Actually, the card could stand it because it's quite tight in there. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad at all. Let's just let's just do a gen on it. Fix it all up. Anything she doesn't like, just chop it off. Yeah, that's perfect. Not a thing wrong with that. Happy with that. Great. Actually, I really like that um, pattern on there. Doesn't that look like really distressed wall or something i love it or fabric on an old chair it's really nice so that is guys all i can tell you about that i do not know where keong is i'm really hoping that she's all right because i know that she likes to catch the lives and we need her for the word the prompt for next week so uh, Michelle, Mr. Green is very patient and working on him slowly, keeping up with grunge. It's lots of new ideas, colours, etc. for me. Yeah, it, it grunge is, yeah, it's kind of a state of mind, I think. And at the moment, I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, thanks, Cathy. Uh, don't let me down, Miss P. It's on my head. Yeah, that's right, Stephanie. It's on your head. Well, it looks fine. I like it. I hope you do too. Um, Yes, it looks like posh wallpaper. Yeah, it does, Jen. Yeah, I hope Keung's okay. I'm a bit worried about her, to be honest. Um, well, hopefully we'll find out later that... Every oh, Tommy sent Keung a message, but hasn't heard from me yet. Well, it's the curious case of Keung, is it not? Anyway, there's my page for today. Um, next Saturday, we'll be carrying on, all things being well, of course. Um, and tomorrow, same time as this, we will be carrying on with my grunge uh, journal and I'll hopefully be using some of those um, background pieces that I've shown you. It's coming along all right, the grunge journal, actually. I'm really enjoying doing it. So from, yeah, from the sublime to the ridiculous tomorrow. OK, so I'll see you tomorrow. Please be good behave yourselves. I don't think we've had anybody on the naughty step today at all. You must all have been good. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you soon. See you tomorrow, in fact. Bye. Bye. Take care. Be safe. Be happy. See you soon. Tomorrow, in fact. Bye.